Well, in a clear sweep, Indonesia's Defense Minister Prabowo Subianto won the presidential elections. The unofficial count showed the former Special Forces commander winning in a single round of voting. Indonesia's president until now, Joko Widodo, congratulated Prabowo. Widodo has been criticized of endorsing him publicly. Prabowo has been long docked by accusations of human rights abuses in the past, which, ha which he has always denied. Indonesia's Prabowo Subianto declared victory on Wednesday in the country's hotly contested presidential election. This victory must be the victory of the people of Indonesia, the 72-year-old said. The ex-Special Forces commander took nearly 60 percent of the vote, according to unofficial counts by independent pollsters that have proven to be accurate in the past. The world's biggest single-day election saw nearly 260,000 candidates duke it out over more than 20,000 posts. Prabowo appeared to have an insurmountable lead over his rivals, ex-governors Anis Baswedan and Ganjar Pranowo. Anis, for one, said he was waiting for the official tally, which is set to be announced by March 20th. Process penghitungan belum selesai. The counting process is not finished, he said adding, we will respect the results of the people's aspirations. In the 1990s, Prabowo was feared as a top lieutenant of the late strongman Suharto, who ruled Indonesia as an autocrat for three decades. Prabowo has since transformed his image into a softer, more grandfatherly figure. He's attracted a huge youth following on social media in a country where nearly half of the 205 million strong electorate is under 40. Another boost for him? The tacit backing of the wildly popular incumbent Joko Widodo. He's reached his term limit. Jokowi, as he's known, did not explicitly endorse a candidate, but his son is Prabowo's running mate. The pair have pledged to continue Jokowi's efforts to position the resource-rich G20 economy as a hub for electric vehicles, as well as to extend a massive infrastructure and social assistance push and create millions of jobs. Prabowo's rivals had said they were investigating reports of fraud, but did not provide evidence. Analysts have said there were no signs of electoral fraud. If confirmed, the new president will take office in October. For all the latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.